Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel Loving Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew and today I brought you for a lovely walk along Alcudia Beach. As you can see behind me, there's a famous wooden bridge and what I'm going to be doing is do a little bit of filming on the beach and then walk by the sand, have a little paddle like always, heading down towards the, the port itself. And it's a beautiful sunny day, it's the 2nd of June, it, you can really feel the difference now compared to what it was a couple of weeks ago we had a lot of rain and it's really miserable but now the weather has changed hopefully it will last during summer but we'll have to wait and see won't we so without further ado let's get on with the walk when i was last here about i don't know it must be a month ago all this was being dug up as you can see but it's lovely in this it's just ideal there to sit there and take children in with the little rubber rings and things because it really is only foot deep just here under the bridge. <laughs> and obviously you keep on walking up here you're going to get to play de Muro and can pick but this is just where we're going to stop here at the top of the bridge to have a little look around. It is so busy it's such a lovely warm temperature little gentle breeze is just actually quite welcoming to be honest with you so many people on the beach today The sand is lovely and warm. Just heading towards the water's edge to have a little paddle. It's not too bad to be honest with you. As you can see, there's plenty of people swimming and paddling. Doesn't matter how far you go out within reason, you really don't go out your depth here. So I said, even though you can paddle out quite a long way here, the tide is still very fierce. And before you know it, it can drag you too far out. So always keep that a, a good idea. I just love to always be safety when it's myself. Uh, if I can touch the bottom of the water, even when swimming, I'm quite happy if I can, if I can stand. That sea looks so lovely, doesn't it? It really does look lovely. And if you do fancy doing a little boat excursion, you can always buy them, buy the tickets down here on the beach. The lady there, she, is, she takes your payment, card or cash. Hire a jet ski, they look so much good fun, don't they? So, you can do lots of stuff with swimming and watch with the dolphins and things. It really does look good fun. So I've been saying for a long time, you really can guess what the summer's going to be like, but the last couple of weeks or so, it's, the island's really starting to pick up now. So I think we're going to be in for a real good summer this year. Hopefully the weather will keep up. But the amount of people sunbathing in the sea and things, it just proves my, my thoughts right really, doesn't it? loads of people fancy something a little bit of fun to do but not too strenuous they're here for you and then again if you fancy a little doing a little bit more strenuous stuff you've got the inflatables just over there they're towed by um, a speedboat they try to knock you into the sea lots of different things to do however 
strenuous we are or not you just want to lay by the beach you want to have a go it's all there for you most important thing to do is just enjoy your holiday which a lot of these people are doing what about a bit of power power sailing It's brilliant how many people out here enjoying what we've got to offer. Are you coming out here soon? If you are, please give us a, a note down below in the comments box where you stop in, what town, you know, what hotel and things like that. And please don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. I'm going to be walking down towards the port today, as I was saying. And the good thing is, there's um, lifeguards in their huts. They're all radioed control to each other, and they walk up and down the beach. And um, there's loads of them everywhere. It just gives you... Um, a good feeling doesn't it if, if the uh, worst does happen they are there to to save you You can rent all kinds of things over here if you fancy a little little sailboard. If you do see me, just give us a shout. I love talking to everyone. It's nice to see what everybody's doing, if they're enjoying the holidays and things, you know what I mean? And if unfortunately you do need a lifeguard, that's who these jets belong to, jet skis to the lifeguard. They can be out to you within a, within a few seconds, can't they? So they're everywhere. They're, they're swimming out there. They're looking for binoculars. They're everywhere. Just keep an eye on our safety. And there's plenty of places as well for disabled people to come. They put these pallets up everywhere. And if you are in a wheelchair or whatever like that, they come on there and then you can always sit under the, under the shelter as well. This is all for wheelchair, all these, all these pallets as it were. Gets you down to the water's edge, doesn't it? There's lots of sun lounges with safes and everything uh, available if you need them. There's cafe, cafe bars down here to get refreshments. If you don't bring your own, spa shops just around the corner if you want to go and buy your own. Let's go and see how much the, um, they are for the sun lounges. So they've got little safes up there. I can actually see a price on any of them. But normally they're about 11 or 12 euros for a cup of umbrellas, a um, cup of sun beds and an umbrella and the safe, aren't they? I'd love to see sand castles still being built. So it's ever so windy.
Now, to me, this is what a holiday's all about. I love getting to have a look at places, as you know. I love to explore the island and things. But it's nothing better than a, a nice relaxing day on the beach, is it? Take, take flasks and drinks and a, a book. And just lose yourself with a, with a packet of sandwiches. What more can you want, eh? So if you don't want to go for a paddle walk on the sand, uh, right over there under the trees, there is a blue path that also takes you right down to the port. And obviously being under the trees, it's very sheltered under there. So if you've had enough of the sun, just go and have a little bit of um, a sit under the trees. I said, if you want something a bit more adventurous, got the banana boat there, got the bed, got like a settee there. Got jet skis. There's lots of different things to entertain you on your day if you want a little bit more of a, a faster trip, should I say. Or you could you could just book them and pay for them just there. Get life jackets and things. They're right down the beach as well. Lots and lots of beach bars to choose from. Sun lounges everywhere you go. And if you don't want to sit on the sun lounger, if you don't want a high one, you bring your own towel down here. There's plenty of space on the beach. You don't have to sit on anyone on the sand. There's people over there bought a little, little tent of kind, haven't they? Find down here lots of hotels and um, apartments to rent out. And again, if you want to get a um an organised boat trip to a little bit of snorkeling or swimming or whatever. There's lots of places down here to have a look. I could recommend a lot, a few of them. Maybe you'd like to rent a canoe or something. A sailboard. They've been all down here, they give you a little bit of tuition. You go out there, have a little bit of fun. So I said you can rent anything down here if you like. Even down the port, you can even rent a boat. Don't matter if you're licensed or not licensed, if it's a boat for you, but they're down the port. High jet skis down there. You're doing an excursion on a jet ski. You know, this sea is so lovely and warm, you get used to it, it really is. Perfect paddling temperature. I will go in a, for a swim in the next few weeks, maybe. What I like to do is go around the coves with my snorkel. I've got, bought myself a little snorkel kit. And it's just nice to have a little snorkel away from everyone. And you can see all these little fishes, all different colours and things, especially around the rocks. It really is um, a fun thing to do, it really is. You really don't get bored of looking at the sea. So 
So hopefully this is summer arrived now then. All the people everywhere. The sea warmed up a bit. Playing frisbee in the sea, brilliant fun, isn't it? And the further you get towards the port, um, the shallow the water seems to be and it seems to warm up a lot more down towards the port itself so you see there are people out here a lot deeper than what there were before it seems like it anyway So saying don't forget to hit that subscribe button and look at my Facebook page and also my website. I'm going to start doing a lot more on the website soon. All different articles and things, places to visit, ideas. I've got some backers hopefully coming on board as well. Just have to see where we go to all that. It's, ex it's exciting days ahead, let's put it that way, for the channel. And myself. No doubt about it, this is a beautiful beach, isn't it? and how clear the sea is around here as well. Loads of people in pedlos out here at the moment. It's it's quite nice to see it getting busy again. And don't forget, if you are feeling energetic at all, you can walk from here all the way through Play de Muro, all the way to Camp Picafor. I'm paddling the majority of the way, actually. It's 13 and a half kilometers long, and it really is a lovely paddle stroke walk. And right down the port, the water is so shallow, it's like bath water now. And look how much space there is just round here on the sand. There's lots of restaurants down there as well. They have pallets on the sand itself, so you can sit on the pallets on the wood, on the sand and enjoy your drink or a meal. There's lots of restaurants down here. Lots of um, seafood, fish and things. I say because the water is so shallow around here, and the sand is so lovely, you do get a lot of people just around in the port.
Well, that nicely brings me to the end of the film. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget Facebook group, the website, Instagram, TikTok, the whole lot. All loving life, Mallorca. I'll catch you on the next film, guys. Thanks and goodbye for now.